Hey, my name is Aline, I'm an electrical engineering consultant at WSCAD and in part 4 of this demo video series I want to show you how to take your design engineering to the next level by using the project wizard. Having a look at the example project, we can remember that the machine requirements included a labeling device for the incoming packages. But what if another customer of ours for which we build these machines requires two labeling devices, one on each side of the package? Or what if we have yet another customer who produces so much he needs two or more packaging units for his machine, each with different specifications? Like for example, one conveyor belt moves only forward, the other one can also move in reverse, one has two labeling devices, the other has one, and so on. Let's see how you can correctly reuse already existing drawings to scale the projects properly. And no, I'm not talking about copy and paste. Before showing you the details, I want to introduce the notion of macros. For that, let's take this motor start drawing for example. Macros are basically reusable drawings which can be saved in a folder, given a name so that it is easily recognizable for all co-workers who are designing schematics, and then it can be inserted in any desired project on any page by any design engineer within the company. Analyzing our project pages, we can recognize which are the elements that compose our entire project and then we can save them all as macros. Having saved everything as a macro, we can then open the project wizard. Here you can see all of the saved macros and start creating new schematic pages with them by only double clicking on the desired macro. Of course, some pages need more than one macro, so the project wizard offers that possibility as well. And there is no limit to how many times you can reuse the same macro on one page, as long as the result fits on the sheet. You can even change description texts or part numbers of the devices used throughout the project, or give names to the pages you are creating. Let me just bring in an already saved configuration of the whole packaging unit project where I inserted the maximum number of pages and the maximum amount of options our installation can have. Now let's just generate these pages and have a look at the project in the highest configuration level. In this case we have four conveyor belts that can move forward and reverse, each equipped with two label makers. And of course all the necessary PLC cards to control and monitor everything. Now when creating a new project it is so easy to just open the project wizard with the full configuration level and just remove the parts that are not needed for this specific project. I will adjust the configuration so it matches the example at the beginning of the video and let everything generate automatically. This is how easy design engineering can be when you use the right tools and the right principles. But don't think we are done here. Check out the next and last video of the series for an even faster and easier way for creating your projects.